everybody, welcome to day 50 of the, uh, the lockdown. We <laughs> survived 50 days of it. Uh, okay, uh, today uh, it's just a little bit of uh, throwing uh, some basic cylinders that are going to be mugs. I'm uh, having a look, to look at what shape I want for mugs for these um, sprigs to go on. So uh, that's what we've got today. Right, I'm just going to um, try a few shapes out for these uh, for these mugs I'm going to make with the um, with the sprigs. I, some people um, some people draw or sketch ideas I prefer to sketch on the wheel really these are 500 gram balls so I'm just going to start off with a simple cylinder Straight sided. A sort of uh, a, a twisted wire here just to pull underneath that, uh, that way I don't have to um, I don't have to trim the base so that's the first shape okay the next shape is gonna be Slightly uh, tapering in towards the top. Just a quick lesson <laughs> while you're there. When you throw in a cylinder, I always pull it out further than further than I'm going to end up with the. Uh, the base, so the base will be about here. So I'll pull it past there. So that when you push in from the bottom here, you're actually lifting part of the base you've just stretched out. That way you um, you lift you lift all the clay up into the body and it saves you getting that sort of uh, chunk of clay down here that a lot of beginners get so this one's going to taper in slightly of a different different difference just a subtle one maybe but um fun to look at maybe a little bit more I'm uh, using my mirror here 
to um, to help me decide on the final shape. Make sure I get it right. The top's a bit undulating, isn't it? Try not to, I try not to trim anything if I can avoid it because if you've weighed some clay out, say 500 grams, and then you um, trim it, it's not 500 grams, is it? Sorry, as I was saying, I was just interrupted by a phone call that I needed to take. Um, as I was saying, I was using, using my mirror to get the angle right. I'm conscious of, of keeping the, 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 the form straight and not bellying it, that way I'll only have to bend the, uh, the sprig in one, one dimension, if you sort of say, in sort of sideways rather than over a rounded form, so I know I'm going to stick with, with a straight sided um, piece mug. So that's the second um, second shape. I will be finishing these off and adding sprigs to them and putting handles on so I can get a good look at uh, exactly what I'm doing. Right, the third uh, shape I've decided to look at is going to be a, a development of the, uh, the narrow one. Sort of the, the cone in one. Out past the point where the uh, the base will end. Again. I'm going to cone it in. And I'm just going to put a little flared edge on. Flare it out slightly, give a nice lip. I think that will sit nicely on there. Again, do some trimming on the wheel. Uh, a wiggly wire to cut it off. Oh, this one's just going to be a straight sided one, vertical sided.
slight indentation there. And a curve out. Not sure about this one, but I think it's almost worth it to see the ones that don't work. Sometimes I've, um, I've thrown things to this point on the wheel and I've thought, oh, maybe not. And yet when I've added a handle or a lid or a lug of some sort, it suddenly becomes a more pleasing shape. So I don't, try not to um, dismiss ideas at the first incarnation. That's it, that's for... Um, Four mugs to be getting on with. I'll do some handle pulling on those later or tomorrow, depending on when they dry out. Okay, that's it for today. Um, I've just mixed up a load of new glazes, four new glazes, a Temaku, two Shinos and a Nuka. So, um, uh, excuse me, there's no video of that because I have to do it in my shed out there because it's, it's safer out there. There's no room to film or manoeuvre out there. So. It's just a question of mixing the ingredients together and sieving them. Uh, so that's done. And uh, so we'll be tomorrow's video will be a little bit of glazing. Okay. See you tomorrow.